Hey guys, it's Bina, and in today's video, I want to talk about my endgame version of the DPS version of uh, Explosive Ballista. So this is in the variant of the Maxwell Guide that I wrote. Um, it is the super squishy minus resistances and um, only focusing on Silver Shrouds for defense. So basically, you get a Silver Shroud with Smoke Bomb, which enables you to dodge the next hit. And you also get one Silver Shroud uh, in your passive here with Intuitive, uh, with Coordinated Fade which gives you a Silver Shroud based on the abilities on your hotbar from left to right. I have two points because I use my Ballistas to actually, um, you know, you're always spamming your Ballista, so you want it on this one so that you guarantee getting it every 10 seconds. So this one gives you a guaranteed Silver Shroud and your Smoke Bomb used as a movement ability gives you another one. So we'll go ahead and look how this looks against the boss here. So we're at 943 Corruption and we are going to see how the single target of this build does. So it is a ultimately squishy build, ZHP only damage, focusing purely on damage and dodging the next hit. So it should deal a lot of damage, right? Technically. Technically a lot of damage. And here we go. So that was a boss fight at like 950 corruption. Um, it, 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 it is pretty powerful. It is pretty powerful. Not gonna lie. This will 100% get nerfed. If not this cycle. Because apparently they are not going... EAG is not going to nerf uh, things this cycle. But next cycle, this is not going to exist. I can pretty much guarantee it. Um, if it exists, it's going to be in a much, much, much tuned down version of this. Okay? But so this is pretty much the build. Um... While mapping, it plays the same way, right? You spam Ballistas, we have, we're have we stacking mana regen. So we're basically off-screening any monsters, and then we're uh, we are smoke bombing forward, off-screening monsters, and smoke bombing forward. If we're ever in danger, we have some decoys, and we have, you know, kill threshold for bosses with Falcon Strikes. So that is pretty much what the build is about. Uh, I'm going to go over, because I have been asked a thousand times in chat, uh, you know, why are you not playing your trap build? Well, the trap build is like the better version for 99% of players that you're going to enjoy the game way more with that one. You're going to be tanky. You will still have insane damage, but I prefer to play this playstyle because it's the first time that we actually can play a um, an actual ZHP only damage version. This has the mechanics for it. It's screen wide AOE. It's just insanely, like, it should not be in the game, but it is. So here we are, and we're playing it, okay? So I'll go over my gear really quickly. I have, like, pretty insane gear, like, 4 LP Urzel's Pride, 3 LP Melvin's Writ with uh, plus 4 to Ballistas. So my gear is absolutely kind of crazy, but this is the Merchant's Guild. This is the first trade league, or the first trade cycle, I should say. And so builds like this are going to exist. And perfect gear are going to exist as well. So people are going to have perfect items. And builds that require perfect items are to get online will exist in Last Epoch if trade stays in the same way that it is. So it is what it is. Uh, we're trying to get... So I'm still missing a couple of things. I'm still missing some blessings, right? So instead of Void Resistance here, I would like to have Crit Multi. I'd like to have Lightning Res, have even, even more Mana Regen. I would want Crit Avoidance here to get even more Crit Multi as well, because uh, stacking Crit Avoidance gives us Crit Multi with our passive. Um, I would like to have Shred Cold Res on hit instead here. And yeah, so I'm still missing a couple of things, but as you can see, this build does not lack any damage. It's just absolute ZHP. So how does this all work? We're not using the traps anymore. We're using just Ballista, regular Ballista. We have 150 wa 158 Dexterity. Oh, and as a disclaimer, you don't have to use double jewel wielding Apogee of Frozen Light. Uh, this is more of a um, high-end variant, I, I could say, of this. Um, like, you could use a bow and a quiver and do just fine, but, like, ultimately the optimized version would be dual wielding Apogee Sword, right? Um, although, that being said, as well, you get, inc you get a more damage multiplier per stack... Uh, you get more damage multiplier for your minions against chilled enemies, but you have to chill them first. So you're actually only getting this on like maybe your second or your third hit. 
So, like, the bow version would actually deal more damage on the exact first hit than this. So, anyways. Uh, that being said, we are using Ballista stacking Dexterity to get access to armed construction, just like the regular build. But we are also stacking Dexterity for Agile Engineering, giving us placement speed per Dexterity of 1%. So this enables us to actually go really, really, really fast. And then our mana regen, which I have 36 mana regen right now, lets us spam a lot of Ballistas. And then when we move, we regen our mana very quickly. And so your mana regen is kind of like your DPS, because at, when you're out of mana, for example, if you get super high in Corruption and you're out of mana, your mana regen will be actually uh, dictates how many Ballistas you'll be able to, to, to spawn and explode. So the rest of the tree is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the same, right? Except that we, uh, you know, we're going for the explosion, for the less mana, more damage, more damage. Our crits apply uh, to our ballistas. Our damage stats apply to our ballistas. We get some crit uh, base crit chance, and we got our ailment stats ratio to get some armor shred and armor shred on our ballistas hits. So that is what we do. Uh, decoy is used here. We're putting it into cold. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, we're going into cold to get access to the cold shred. So we're going to shred cold res with our decoys as well. So it's an extra, uh, an extra source of shred, which is quite nice because it's guaranteed with the decoy. So uh, sonic detonation, the sonic wave inflicts frailty and armor shred on nearby enemies. Um, additional stacks of armor shred. And then the fire shred it, it, instead of armor shred. And if you have it converted to cold, that is now cold, right? So... Um, so yeah, ins instead of Armor Shred, uh, you're getting Cold Shred. We're using our Falcon here to get access to some Armor Shred as well, because our ailment chance applied to our Falcon hits. We're using it for the Kill Threshold mainly, and so that's pretty much what we're using it for. Uh, Dive Bomb here, we're using Dive Bomb for even more Armor Shred stacks. Uh, these points got, uh, removed for some reason. Armor Shred, we're using Mana Gain on boss or rare hit. It's gonna give us mana back. Main, this, this is the main reason why we're using it. And Smoke Bomb, we're using for even more Armor Shred as well. So we're going to Armor Shred, Armor Shred. And of course, uh, we are invulnerable while we are moving with it. And we use it as a traversal skill to give us a stack of Silver Shroud every 5 seconds. Because we're re reducing the cooldown by 50%, right? So, every time I'm I use Smoke Bomb, I have a stack of Silver Shroud. So that is my defense. And then my second defense is Ballista, right? If I cast a Ballista every 10 seconds, I'll get um, a stack of Silver Shroud. So, all of this is in the planner, in the build guide, in the in the link below. Um, so, it's if you go into the gearing section, there's the starter, advanced, end game, and best in slot. But there's also a DPS variant, which is going to be linking to this planner here. If you click on the on the paper doll, you will have um, it will open up another page on the Ellie planner on Max Roll, which will bring you to all of, the, all of the passive, all of the skills, um, all the gear and stuff. And so you can follow it uh, that way. Although I do, I do want to put a big disclaimer. You will die with this build. It, is, it has zero EHP pretty much. Like you don't scale any defenses whatsoever. We're scaling, for example, Lightning Res to get mana regen with Earls of Pride. So that is why we are using uh, Lightning Res and Elemental Res wherever we can, right? So, yeah. So, we're getting our crit from Peak of the Mountain. Uh, I would like to have, like, a better amulet. I don't have, like, perfect gear, but my gear is still quite insane. Um, you would ultimately like to have only turquoise rings. Um, you know, there are some optimizations to do, but you're trying to just scale as much damage as possible to one-shot things and screen clear uh, the entire screen and not get hit. <laughs> so, that's pretty much the idea around the build. Um... I hope you like it, guys. I've been asked this a thousand times in chat, and now I just want to put it out there so that it's clear that this is... It's like the next step of the trap build, basically, if you want to go for full damage. Um, but I do recommend playing the trap build. It's tankier. It has insane damage as well, but like way more quality of life. But uh, this should prove to push higher in Corruption. Um, so that is pretty much, pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these kind of videos, please comment, like, and subscribe. It's going to help my channel greatly. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.